I call it the triad because I wanted you know, to explain that you know, there's one side of, of the triad which is aim, the other which is path, the other which is speed. And they're all interrelated and you could write a book about each, each side of that triangle. That made it real simple for people to understand. And inside of that triangle is a circle. Uh, it's a decision process. What do I do with, with my aim, my path, my speed? How am I going to go putt? Um, that could include green reading. Uh, it could include all the variables that, uh, in the decision process that make up the procedure that you're going to have. Uh, so if, if I was trying to improve somebody's putting, how would I go about doing it? Um, if 94% of the direction of the ball goes, it would make sense that we would start at AIM. And uh, AIM is a very complex uh, subject. We're going to spend a lot of time uh, talking about AIM, the factors of AIM. Um, and, and so that became the primer for me to help somebody with their putting is first get them aiming their putter. Uh, and, and it was funny, uh, you know, when the laser first came out, boy, they were real expensive back in the early 90s. Uh, and I got my first laser and was able to check my aim for the first time. You know, we used to put little triangles behind the putter because we didn't have lasers back in the day, but I put a mirror shard on a, on a putter and uh, shot the laser to it, and I aimed a foot and a half left from six feet. And, you know, I was a pretty good player. I uh, had a very good golf swing, worked with some really good teachers. And, uh, but man, putting was a struggle for me. And, and to think that I aimed a foot and a half left. So I'm trying to play professional golf, playing mini tours in California and, and in South America. And, and, and I'm aiming a foot and a half left from six feet. And, I, and I'm blaming myself for not putting well, when really it was my putter that was the problem. Because then I was able to take Whole, a whole bunch of different putters with different shapes and different line combos and hosels, necks, lengths, and put that mirror on there and was able to figure out that all these different putters aimed in different spots. So it had to do something with the, uh, the aim of the, uh, or the perception of the putter head uh, and, and all the geometry that goes along with it. So with that being said, you know, here I am, you know, trying to trying to play great golf and I can't aim my putter. So I figured, wow, as a golf professional, um, all these golf professionals are out here with, with the wrong putter. If I'm, if I'm aiming this far off, how bad are, are other people aiming? And I would go and test them and find out they all had the same kind of problems I did. And so that, in that, I saw the opportunity to develop a phenomenal fitting system. Um, and break it down into all the variables that matter in a putter. You know, what matters in a putter? The head shape, the, the, the loft, the line combinations, the hosel, the hosel type, the lie angle, the length. Uh, you know, those, those values all have something to do with, with aim. And then you have, you know, values that, you know, correspond to speed. And you have, you know, how does that all work together to produce a concept of path? So, so for me, the, the foundation of Adele Golf is built around this triad. Um, and this is the foundation of what we teach uh, and, and why we fit and, and in the fitting process, what, you know, what, what matters the most.